What's up guys and girls, it's Fortnite 2156 bringing you a video of Elden Ring. I did want to start a tip for beginners and I wanted it to be at a factual beginner tips. Um, so when you start a new game, I turn the music off, that's what y'all saw earlier. Uh, I turn the music off for that reason. Uh, so when you go into a new game, you got your choices. And I'm going to rank these, and I hope nobody thinks I'm ranking them out of sorts. Uh, due to the fact that Evan is good as joining into one of my streams, finally. Uh, but for a beginner, I definitely do recommend the Bandit as your first playthrough. Uh, it's a bleed build. It's a starting of a bleed build. A really good one at that. Um, let's just name it Frog. Frog for short. For keepsake, it really depends on how you want to play for your keepsakes. Uh, usually I'll only do the Golden Seed. That just gives you an extra vial of health right off the get-go, not having to search. Uh, but usually, if it's that, I'll either go with the Crimson Medallion or the Seed. Uh, usually for the Bandit, he already has 10 Vigor starting, 11 Mind, and his Endurance is already at 10. Dexterity is at 13. You're basically focusing on Dexterity and Arcane for a Bleed. Um, so those are pretty much the, the two primary ones, is Dexterity and Arcane. The other secondary ones are going to be your Vigor, your Endurance, and then Strength. Your third and final when you already have those up to level 60. This is later on. You'll be focusing on getting all those into 60. Then the third one is whatever points you have left over. You'll start putting those into uh, faith and intelligence. So we'll go with just my generic character that I've been using for years. Well, since I started playing really. Give me one minute. There's going to be a little break here. I know Evan's still on the mic, so. He may say something weird. Ignore that. I'll let the cutscene play for y'all. While I do what I have to do, I'll be back. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knights, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring 
demigods all claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. A loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Ophnir. The all knowing. and become the Elden Lord.
Sorry about that. A lot of things went on. Okay. So starting out as a bandit. If we look at the equipment that he has. So this one already causes blood loss buildup of 38. That, that's his very first starting weapon. You get the buckler. I always get rid of that. The short bow. Get rid of that. Arrows. Definitely get rid of. Keep his armor. It's a basic armor. Easy armor. And there's a lot of people, including my friend here, that uh, takes blood builds to a whole new level. But first starting off, the first boss is a Scion boss. Uh, you can try to kill him. This is the only death that you can get and not feel bad for. Uh... Usually, I'll let you see him when he drops in. Yep, that's him. Just jump off the cliff. It's faster, easier. And you don't even have to worry about that bitch. Honestly. And that's the difference between me and Evan. I know that he doesn't have to care what he says. If I cuss, well, I don't have to care either. But, like, I try to keep it underage for mine try to sorry if I don't complete that one but yeah now I'm awake so you talk there you get your flask so healing and mana flask now look at that image in a minute most people will drop down here take him on immediately I like leveling up my guy a little bit first and if Evan wants to fight the dragon he can he can put a sign down and I'll get him It'll take me a little while to get there, though. Make sure you always grab those. Um, I went all the way to the dragon, y'all. Which I'm going to show you how to get there, because that is one tip I am going to use. When you first start the game, you can easily get up to level 35 pretty quick. Just by following simple t steps like I show you in this video. Um, due to the fact that it is... I always grab a little bit of these. So I don't have to grab the one on the bridge where we're headed. Touch the grace. This is your very first step really you can talk to him if you like I just ignore him drop down here you don't need to fight that thing he's not a concern at the low level that you start out at I mean I have seen people actually defeat him at low levels hold on for a minute there, those two towers in the back of, on that castle up there look like faces. Oh my gosh. So you'll run up here to the church of Ella, which is your very first shopkeeper. Not a real good one, but good enough. And I can also see that you're not then. Why not? I am Carly. I'm selling. So all the stuff that you just saw me collect, except for the smith stones, those you definitely do need. I don't use bows. I mean, I've seen builds where you do use bows, but I just don't trust bows. Goodbye, 
Then you can come right up here to the grace. On this build, I will show y'all how to get a perfect bleed build before you do really any of the main bosses. And they are pretty accurate builds. Then we go ahead and just pop that 400 room. What is it? So I can grab a crafting bag so I can summon him in when I get there. Grab all the yellow flowers that you see because you will need them if you're summoning people into yours or if you're doing it solo like sometimes I do like to do. I always do stealth on all these guards just because it's a one hit kill even with a low ranking. Except for the wretch which it takes two hits to actually kill him. Ow! That's the bleed effect that I was talking about. Hey, hog. Ow. First time a hog has ever hit me that hard. He hit me harder than Evan has ever hit me. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all probably watched a lot of his videos because I put in one of my videos his Twitch and his YouTube in the description. But he didn't know I did. I don't think. Or maybe he did. I can't tell what happened. Sometimes. If you want a really good bleed weapon, right off the start, not have to do anything for it. You'll make your way, way up to Khalid. Where you do have to actually kill. I'm getting ahead of myself on this one. So let's take a step back. So you'll make your way to the gates. Or you can make your way on the other side of this town. There's another one. Depending on how you want to do it. Talk to Mal well, however you want to pronounce her name. Because I know I get it wrong. That's for sure. I'm not even going to go through that. She'll give you the opportunity. Just keep hitting X all the way through. Until a window pops up telling you that you have a ring. Because all that says is accepting her journey. So you can level up. I mean you can beat the game without that. And for all beginners of game. Remember that you can pass time at it, one of these graces. If it's nighttime, I definitely do recommend traveling during the day. Just makes it easy on you until you get higher level and better weaponry. Travel during the day, it will definitely help you out. And I bet even Evan can vouch for me on that one. Which sometimes he doesn't want to vouch. But, you know, that's him. So, you'll make your way down here. Past the guards. They'll try to stabby stabby you with their speary spears. You'll make your way down. That's the other grace right there. I hardly ever grab that one. Now, Evan, he's against... The magic aspect of the first step I do. But in my opinion. If I'm going to work on a character. And it's going to be my primary character. I got to get some magic. For another farming area. So if you make your way right up here. That's why I said it's going to take me a little while Evan. To get to Drago. Uh, I go right up here. Jump up here. 
past the runes up here. There's a graveyard over on my left, but then right up here underneath this piece of rune, there's a there's a guy. Kill him, and you automatically get the glenstone staff for free. You don't have to buy it; you get it for free. Now I'll be headed to the dragon, so I'm not wasting Evan's time. Because I know so basically from the gates you'll head the same exact way the only difference is that I need to get a golden fowl's foot hold on definitely get a golden fowl's foot which I'll show you another location here how to get a golden fowl's foot if you come right over here there's three guys I always like to hop off my horse Kill them. Come here to behind the flagpole. There's your first golden pickled fowl's foot. The other one is over by the first step. You can actually. And any glowing eyes skull, you definitely want to grab because, I mean, it's a rune one, but it's 200 runes for yourself. Make your way down. You can just follow the trail down here. But I do recommend taking a little alternative way. And I'll even show you on the map where I am. So, so from there you'll come down the path here. And then make a left. And follow this path all the way to the end. That's pretty much all you have to do for a beginner. I mean yes I did. I haven't leveled up. But I have gotten some runes. You can grab that grace if you like. I just bypassed it. There's no need for it. Because there's really no enemies that will attack you that are heavy through here. You can follow that path. There might be a few enemies there. But the path I take, there are no enemies. There's one giant in front of an area. You might want to take an alternate path. Once you get here to this church of Mount Melania, whatever the church is, let me see real quick. Church of uh, Mirica. Uh, grab your wondrous flask or your wondrous physic, whatever you want to call it. And then the sacred tear. Hop on your horse. And I do this just because it's easier. Hop through the window. Follow this waterway all the way to the end. Till you get to this portal. Travel. It'll take you to... A place where... Bef you're supposed to go... After you get... Past some of the main bosses. But that's why I love this free roam. Oh, sorry, I had to sit up straight. My back's hurting. So you will wind up at Great Old Drago, Dragon Bar Barrow. God damn, my my words are slurring today. Hop off here so you don't have to fight, get near that gargoyle, which I'll show you real quick. Him, head down this path. There's a se there's a seed right here. You want to grab that seed, make your way towards that bridge.
there's a grace beside the bridge if you don't feel confident running past the thing that's on the bridge I do recommend grabbing that it should it's not that hard to run past this guy he will holler yell everything hey thanks dragon for flying up but yeah he's pretty easy to get by you just keep headed down the bridge the first time I did it I went the wrong way down here so don't make that mistake there's a tree sentinel right at the base of that tree you'll take a as you get down here lightning will strike that's normal what right where all these jarp guys are dead you want to take a left there follow behind all these jar people hop up and now you're behind the elder dragon as you see right there with all the spikes on the back and the wing up in the air and I do recommend doing this with a friend because it does help both of you out so I'm gonna we use a pa certain password which I'm not going to be afraid to show because I use multiple different passwords here and you can use these passwords and your group passwords too uh, it does help because sometimes when someone becomes an elder lord or anything it will automatically give you and then let me go to craft then you need to craft I don't know if his signs already down but if it is I'm already popping my thing pop his sign will show up if he's already laid it down oh in that case so he's got there before I did uh, he, I got there before he did okay you're right by the dragon's tail how did you get there all right I'll look for it um, by the dragon's tail uh, Oh, you said you were by the dragon's tail. Having communication is key. And like if he has a dragon, y'all both can partner up with both. It's benefit. I'm standing on your thing, ironically. So you can choose samurai. It really Why does your character look like the character from what's that? Straw hat. Oh god. God. Uh So all you gotta do is come right here to the crease in the leg. Oh, that's good to hear. And just keep hitting until he's dead. Someone defeated that, so I already have a golden pal's foot. 
I'm using. Mm hmm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're in a group, but yet you don't have to waste your golden pals, but like Oh no, and I'm in it. Yeah, it automatically gives you every time they defeat something or they become No, I'm in four different groups. The group doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, and if you have two golden fowls foot, you can pop them, and they last for ten, twice the length. Even if you rest, you still have one. So... gonna pop mine just because heck it doubles up with your group so you There we go, so I should get roughly a hundred because I have two of them active. I should get his. And then I'll also get my group, so I'm at a hundred and two thousand two hundred and ten. Because I had two of them active. And then <laughs> that's the easier way. Has one what? Oh, yeah. That's why I sent you back. Oh, come on. Hold on. I was seeing it. I know. I, I was just resting. It's like. I am. I am. I'm hitting circle right now as we speak. I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table home. Gathering place of tarnished champions. Later. Later. Later, thank you. <laughs> Much later, thank you. I put my sign down for you. Mm. Good choice. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just waiting for to be summoned. My sign's up here on the dirt path. Someone just defeated the shard bear. Nice. So that's added another golden claw to my name. <laughs> Now I mean summoned. Yay. Nah. It's a pain. No, it's a pain, I know.
That worm is fun. And it also helps if you have friends with the dragon too. Because you get about sixty to seventy thousand just with a friend. I'm glad my groups are constantly getting those things. <laughs> because, because it's like every time I rest at the thing, another one pops up going in Faust foot. So I'm, I'm glad I never deleted those groups. But Eticus. Here, and I'll show you them again. The Itacus, the Seekers, Koopa, FCB. I use all of them just so I can have a rapid fire of Golden Foot. Now let's go ahead and level up. Let's do, see, 769 for health, dexterity, 30, arcane is 21. So I'm at 40, level 45. Oh, what is that, level 5? Oh, never mind, I can't read. I'm at 43 too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because I'm supposed to have glasses, but and I've been going through a lot of shit. I can't seem to get my glasses. So, yes. 
Go ahead and get these. Oh, someone just killed the shard bringer. Whatever that is. I did. Ah, uh, nice. Very well. Let my hand. Mm. Mm. So now I'll talk to Melania. Go to the round table. That's the easiest way to get to the round table is talk to Melania. Or whatever the fuck her name is. I know. I... There is a path that you can take. It's past the Volcano Manor. That you can go there. I did that one time. I did that one time and I hated myself because it, it took me about three hours to do. So now, I do not recommend getting the praise from the girl on the bed. I don't talk to the blacksmith just yet, due to the fact of one thing. I haven't, the way I showed y'all to go, you haven't gotten the girl that you talked to him with yet. So at this point, let's see how much do I have. I have 7,000. 314 all right so now it's a part of my next farming area that I'm gonna showcase to y'all I haven't showed this in a video so that's why I have so many groups And you need those groups for the next farming because it gives you a uh, thousand per kill and it's not giants so what you'll do here is get on your horse travel through the main gate like you're going up to fight the very first main boss. Watch out for the damn archers. They're a pain in the ass. Yeah, I just got st almost stomped by the giant. Shut up. Nobody needs your horn. Then if you're traveling in... If you're traveling at night, you'll wind up having wolves here. I definitely do not recommend it. I always grab this grace just to have it. I don't rest at it or anything. There's a lot of graces I just grab, but I don't rest. Grab the stone sword key from up there. Go in here, talk to, talk to the lady who's laying on the floor, ironically. And there you go, you got a spirit jellyfish ash, once you get that, run. I definitely don't recommend using that, uh, just due to the backstory on them. As Evan probably would agree with me on that. If you're using an ass, here we go again y'all with the weird wordage. Ash. Oh, someone in the group. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of deaf too. Well, I play video games in, at loud volume, so I mean. So grab the Nordic Warrior Cookbook. You could go get this Ash of War. Uh which is a shield it's your very first one I just bypass that go up this trail behind the castle which Evan already knows this trail anyway
that's that's pretty much what I'm doing. And if y'all don't know where the locations of the smithing bells are, they actually on uh, Google Images they actually have a map of the location of all smithing bells. Uh, so you can just look that up. Um, I'm not worried about the smithing bells right now. Because I don't even have the main weapon yet. The main weapon, I will show y'all what I'm, I will be using on this character build. Um, but for the part of the farm that you definitely do want to grab, hop into the Church of Il Irith, or however you want to put it. I'm going to, like I said, grab the Sacred Tear. Talk to this guy. Yes. Donate 10 runes to him already. And the first one is the Glintstone Pebble. As everybody knows. I'm also going to showcase. Right now where you can go. I just come down here. I mean, yes, I could run right through the guards in that little town here. I choose not to, just because it's a waste of my time to try to run through them. We can come right down here. And if you look in the distance, you can see a little fire. You want to head to that. And I do recommend grabbing all the map pieces, just so you have them. I don't do it. As Evan knows, I have a bad issue of not grabbing those due to the fact that, hell, we played this game so much, it's like, I don't care where you got the stuff. Grab the lantern and grab as many smithing stone ones as you can and go ahead and grab his smithing stone twos. It'll help you in the long run. Alright, so now, if I'm right, let me see real quick. Eh. Let me go back over here, sit at the campfire. Uh, let's see, how much do I need to level up? 11,000. That'll be fine. 11,000 is not that hard to get, honestly. You just have to be tedious with where you go to get that 11,000. I usually will go right back to uh, the first area and farm those guys. Once you get the gold, golden fowl's foot on the character itself, uh, all the enemies that you will face give you a lot more runes. Even the ones that you try to farm will give you a lot more runes. Uh... So in my opinion, farming runes in a group is your best option. It'll take me a little while, but... Now if I wanted to go to all the grave sites and steal those and do it that way, it would take me a lot less. Which I actually might do because it's a smarter idea. And I will show y'all how to get to all those places. Um, I have two right off the bat that you can get. One that we passed up on down on the there and then one right up past the gate. Um, so you can just come down here like you normally would. Um, and listen to him keep on talking. I'm not dealing with him right now. Shut up. And then once you get past the riding horseman on top of something, I think it's a horse, you'll come right up here. I bypassed these runes due to the fact that the dragon was going to give me enough. 
to level up pretty good. But if you need like 11,000 or something to get to this stage, which you do want to put one extra point into intelligence, um, you can come back to these caskets and get runes from them. I know Evan doesn't believe in the magic, but I do. Watch out for wolves. That would be a bigger statement that I have to use every time I come over here. Just watch out for wolves. Alright. So I grabbed all the runes there. Now what I'll do is I'll head. I want to see if I'm right. Yeah, I'll head down here. Cross over. Watch out for the crabbies. And before you ask, yes, I do use the reference Krabby Patties when I look at them. Then you come down here, and you'll see a big war. You can just sit here, and once something dies, it'll give you the runes. <laughs> you can just run around here for a few minutes. Just make sure you don't die to these guys. Let them fight just a little while. Hey, I... I through here and just keep on tapping them once in a while I'm not sure they take on little creatures because they're just dang easier Easier. Voila. Now go grab the loot. Mm, wrong way. No, actually, I was going the right way. What am I doing? What about what up, Apex Ninja? Close enough. talk to him not worth my time so I'll go to over here Double jump drop in grab twin blade Getting right out of here. Ah, come on. Fine. Jump over that. Thank you. And we'll head back here.
I just like playing with the enemies. It's fine. Try not to fall. Not what I wanted. Right there. First step. If you want to grab another golden foul's foot, there's one right at the first step. A lot of people don't realize. Uh, but you do need your horse for that. Uh, or you could just walk all the way down there, try to miss the giant. I'll show both ways. You come back here. A lot of AFK farmers actually sit right down on that pillar down there. If you're going to be one of those type of guys, just know that there are people that know about that spot right down below here. It's not worth that just drop down you won't take any damage golden fouls foots right here and then I run up here just to get the shopkeeper at this point shopkeeper what do you need what do I need don't want any trouble okay don't worry he sells some of the better stuff for a different cave or a different places that you'll go into uh, these all have like poison buildup cures uh, blood loss cure and sleep cure I'm just here for smithing stones right now I'll come back later to grab those two. Yeah, I'll be on my way. Call my horse in. Then you'll head down here. Watch out for the main bosses here. They ain't worth wasting your time on right now. Or the enemies don't waste your time on them right now the only one enemy down here that I'm interested in and if you ever see these glowing lights running in a certain pattern just get off your horse watch where the pattern is going and kill it because now I got the ash of war stamp sweep because it's usually one of those creatures uh, and especially down here that's where you can find that effect oh come on horse now if you keep headed down here past the birds on the I don't even know what you would call those birds honestly they look like penguins Maybe I should start calling him Evan. So, I always sneak up behind this dude. Give him the first hit. Ow. Bleed him. He dies. Grab that. And grab those. The butterflies. And then now you can head back. You can... Technically, you can farm this dude here. Uh, I mean, he does give you armor drops occasionally. So I do recommend if you are wanting to spend a super amount of time, farm him. Uh, he does give you good armor there's always a giant there and I'm taking you up the way that you would come down if you're on foot without the horse at the beginning I definitely do recommend getting the horse before you do any of this uh, just due to the effect that uh, yeah he's kind of a 
the B word if you aren't careful. That's becoming night. I hate night. Then you can just climb up here, go up to the church of Ela. Oop, grab some more of those yellows. But yeah. Once you get back here, hop off the horse. Who put their damn notation on top of the smithing anvil? Go in here. This will be just my primary for the short term. So I'm not going to waste any. Maybe I... Actually, you know what? This might be a great idea. A great knife. Dagger. You know what? For right now, I will. So now it's a plus three great knife. And I'm glad I got those shards. Thank you. So now I can run out here. And kill. And get better more runes added to every kill I do recommend stealth but I'm not too worried so that gives you a pretty good sum let me see how much 67 per kill here usually it's a little less In this video, I'll probably take on Malekith, or however you want to pronounce his name. I know Evan's going to say, you mispronounced his name, didn't you? Grab some of you. Grab you. Oh, you finally stand up. Gave me armor. Not bad. Not a bad loot haul right there. Now until you get... I do recommend getting that point into intellect before... Uh, you put them into most of the other stats. Just because it would help you in the long run. I should have done that. I should have done that before. Uh, I wasn't thinking ahead. Uh, if you're a mage, you already have that technology. You know, where it's already there, so you don't really have to waste your time doing this. Um, as I'm doing right now, just to get close enough to do my farming spot uh, but yeah Evan already knows where my farming spot is he hates me because I do farm that area but it's just an easy area And especially if you're in a group. Um, meaning that you're in any of the groups. You could put a random number down and probably be okay. Alright, let's see. I'm going to rest, set it to morning so I can see better. My eyes. time morning Wait, talk to Kalis sell a lot of this crap that I don't not buy sell thank you I'm 
I'm keeping that one for silver foots later on in the game. Those are tier two. I don't need those right now, so. Actually, I don't really need these right now. Uh, so I can, I can get those out of here. Uh, I'm almost there to my limit, so that's good. I wanted at least to be at the limit of that. I'll grab those. I'll run up here, farm these guys a little bit more, grab loot that I need. You don't really have to farm these guys, but since I was dumb enough not to put the point that I need in, I'll farm until I get the amount. I just need one more level up, really, for it. I'm almost there, so. And for new players, I do recommend the, this. If y'all are finding that dragon like I showed at the very beginning, definitely have a friend with you because it helps both of y'all out um, to defeat them faster. If both of y'all have bleed build, it will go super fast. Uh, if y'all want to know the groups that I do have active, uh, y'all can just. I'll pop it up at the end of the video so y'all can actually see uh, the groups I have active. I'm just farming a little extra just so I can get the level up I need, which is 11,000 right off the bat, which should only take me a few minutes to do anyway. Because like I said, I know most of the easier areas for beginners to actually farm and if they all drop what I want them to drop it should be taking me no time there's a pig I always kill the pig which is the pig and I hit a bleed the first hit how about that Jesus Uh, let's see. There's another skull. Not 200. <sighs> a lot of people are dying right here. What? Did I just walk into apocalyptic mode or something? Alright, so I'll walk over to him. What is it? See how cl how much more I I don't want to buy things. <sighs> so Just so I can get closer, and I have enough of those so I can sell those too. Alright. So, pretty much, it's a rinse and repeat factor until you get. Well, if you were smart enough to actually put one point into intelligence before now, you can just automatically do the farm. I was the Dumbo who forgot to put that point into there. 
But, as I said, easy fix. Yes, I could take on the first main boss right now if I wanted to. Uh, or technically a cool, so that's a hundred plus whatever he gave me, so I can run up here, kill this dude. Get another 60. I was hoping that they would drop them quicker than that, but you know. The lump of flesh. I'm doing a slow method of farming them. You can go faster. Definitely do. Okay. I won't waste this one. You only get one hit on me. <laughs> I'm grabbing all the normal loot. Just have plenty of stuff. Mushrooms. I see a pig I want to kill right now. Keep out of his sight. That's exactly the kill I wanted. You don't have to do it the exact way I'm doing it. To get these dang things that you need to do. Uh, I just choose this method because it's real easy just to get a little bit extra. Um, once I show you all the farm that I use... This golden fowl's foot from groups will make your life a lot easier because it's about a thousand each time you farm. Well, a three thousand if you have the golden fowl's foot. If you only have just a few little things. Wait, well, you're back. Let me sell real quick. So it's time for me to go because obviously farming these guys aren't giving me as much as I would have hoped. So we'll go grab the runes from the other place, which I could have been doing that this whole time. I'm only grabbing some more of those. I'm not worried about you, dude. I think the runes from this other place will cover. What I need to level up once more. Uh, I could have grabbed that. Mm. Turn it around. I need to grab that. That was a little room. <laughs> then, if you run back up here through the gate. And I'm glad I did this because because I just totally forgot to do this at the beginning. If you blow that horn, stop it. <laughs> Besides, I'll show you that one after I go get the rune from over here. Smithing stone one. Definitely need that. There's the other graveyard. 
If you see these worms, you're close enough. Grab the runes. Watch out for the ram. And watch out for those. Those guys do hurt. Go ahead and get rid of them. There's only one ram, so I'll go ahead and take care of him real quick. So I'm not dealing with the ram being rammed in the back. I've dealt with the ram so many times, it's not funny. So now you just collect these since pretty much everything's been totally taken care of. I can try to miss one. Hey, Wormy. I'm glad some of these worms are really mild temp. Alright, grab that. Now make my way back up to the shack here. Because probably most of y'all didn't realize once you get the girl into the tower or in the round table. She will actually drop you a, another golden seed. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I'll use it real quick. Thank you. Level up. I got to pop all those. Give me a second. Let's start with that one. So that gives you 1,600. Which that will be just enough to get one point in, I think. I do believe. But yes, it is. And that's going right into intelligence. So at the beginning, once you get to 44 for a bleed build, I like to have my stat look like this. It, it actually makes sense after a while uh, why I have my stats like this so 24 health 30 dexterity 21 arcane 10 intelligence endurance and mind I haven't done any in those are the stats that I I prefer to have like that especially if you're you know running with a friend now we'll head back up to the fort froth or however you want to pronounce this uh, and now the method I'm going to be using is going to help you level up your endurance a lot more because we all well in vigor and dexterity and our Arcane or pff, my mind. Heaven will probably say my mind is rotting by now. Yes, yes, it is. And y'all are probably asking, why am I not just going right through the game like, yeah, you know, main bosses right now? It's because I want to feel comfortable with fighting a main boss with this character. And why I just equipped the the spell is due to the fact now we can start the farming process. So up here at up here, once you get here, you can fight a dragon. At the very beginning, you can. This is a farming location that I use. A lot of people have their own farming location. Oops, I forgot to set my flask. Um, what you want to do is set your flask for two on the mana, five on health if you have it already up that way. If you followed my guide already, you probably already have that. 
always put two because you already have one in it's like a bullet if you think about it you already have one in the chamber you come here lock onto the first bat he dies you get 887 if you do not have groups they give you random Going in claws. The second bat's right here. Kill him. He'll give you another 887. Another 887, which I already have 2,000. This is why I say, yes, this is a farm, not a instant, you know, million of rooms. It's a farm. Uh, you can continue doing this. I've done it till I get 50,000. It only takes about an hour to get 50,000. Uh, so, really, it's as much time as you want to put into it, you can get uh, if you had done it smart, right after you killed the dragon, put one point into intelligence. Already have gotten the spell and already got the staff. You would have already been farming this by this point in time. Uh, if you're a mage, you, you don't have to worry about anything. Just know that mages can't attack the elder dragon, so definitely have a friend do that with you. Uh... It'll make your life a lot easier if they have a bleed build. I do recommend bleed for the dragon. And I'll show you all my groups. I'm going to be farming for about an hour, maybe a couple hours here and there. Uh, I will showcase my groups that I am in. So that y'all can use them too. Uh, it does, in my opinion, it does, and I am sub to m most of the guys that I use their groups to. If I'm not, uh, I just use their groups because you can Google, you can Google the groups, and these are the groups that pop up. Uh, but here you go. I'll pull them up here for y'all. The 3012, that's just a group that me and my friend use. Uh, that's just the multiplayer one that we use. Uh, the Idicus is one that I use. Seekers, all cap Seekers. Uh, capital K, Koopa, Koopy. And then for the last one, I'll use the FCB, all lowercase. Those are really the only ones I actually use. There are tons more. Uh, I know that Facebook, uh, there, there's a group on Facebook that is actually using their own group passwords. Uh, I just use these four just because they are easier to type in. But yeah. So that's pretty much how I start my builds. If I'm doing a bleed build. If I'm doing a mage build, I'll still do it the same way, just I won't plug them into the those aspects. Uh, I'll still fight the dragon and I'll still go in there and farm for hour on hour right here. So I hope y'all did learn something and enjoyed. I'm gonna hop off of the video. I'll see you on my next video.